Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a new advanced tool which will help you guys to reduce the input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3 on your Windows PC. It literally doesn't matter if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, this will work for both guys. And I'm just gonna explain everything step by step. And trust me, in the end, your input delay will at least get reduced by like 20%. It's super, super easy. If you guys enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah, guys, and I'm just gonna show you actually real quick where you can get your hands on the program and the config file. It's gonna be pretty much here on my own website, guys it's gonna be the latest video name so exactly the same thumbnail and the same name as the current video you're watching i obviously didn't put it as of right now here on there so therefore yeah it's gonna be here on the top left guys just simply click on it you might get a small pop-up ad which you don't mind at all guys it's like nothing wrong it's just like a browser extension or some stuff then once you click here on the download actually itself guys it should open a google drive link if it's gonna download anything else it's just gonna be an extension for your current browser guys it's nothing wrong just simply delete it it's like one or two more extra steps just to make sure to support me if you guys wish to and yeah on the google drive there's already gonna be the file itself so therefore once you get it on your desktop guys we're just gonna continue straight up here with the tutorial and yeah guys the program we're going to talk about in today's video is called windows 10 privacy i know it says 10 but it works the same way also for windows 11 and i obviously already installed it here on my pc so i'm just gonna launch it here actually real quick in the background you can already see this program pretty much handles like all the processes which are running in the background of windows 10 and windows 11 especially data transfer or which kind of data are getting scanned consistently and trust me deactivating some of these services and the program is literally going to straight up tell you which one can make such a huge difference in terms of input delay we're just going to wait here actually real quick and you can see it's already here and literally ask you here in the first place do you want to make a restore point in the first place we're just going to click on yes here of course guys and once you finished it and made your restore point you can already see that we have green data here which pretty much already straight up tells us that we can deactivate this here without any issues guys like these are just as mentioned here telemetry processes in the background which means it just scans our pc you know it's like nothing which is needed for windows windows 10 to run and yeah the yellow ones are like kind of where you should like know for yourself okay should I do this or not it's already like telling us hmm, probably not so we're just gonna uncheck it boys and yeah for the rest we can see here everything which will be deactivated our auto logger inventory collector disable open password display you know just some basic background processes which we definitely don't want guys and which are not gonna mess around with our privacy too much um, in terms of like getting viruses or stuff like that on our PC so you can be completely sure here guys with something like Windows error reporting I mean yeah who's reading through them I personally never read for any of these logs so therefore you can definitely 100% just make sure to disable them and you can see a recommended settings, nearly no side effects, conditionally recommended, must be examinated on an individual base. And then you can see the red one is restricted. So yeah, you probably shouldn't change that. So therefore just go through the green ones guys and you can be 100% sure that nothing is going to happen. Just simply go here onto set change settings and you can see after confirming this message, this program will set the desired settings. And yeah, then it's gonna reset itself guys. You can see here now everything is getting applied. The program is just going to restart and all the processes which have been selected are going to get disabled. And as mentioned, guys, this is going to make such a huge difference in terms of input delay. And once we're on here, guys, you can see now that we can also go to applications and there we can see now disable installation of advertisement apps or games. This is like something which is built in sadly into Windows 10 and Windows 11. You know, with the Microsoft Store, you always have like some basic games installed already on your Windows PC. And yeah, they can see deny apps, the access to my notifications, can turn it on access to account information we don't want that as well access my name picture and other account info uh, then we can see in my calendar we don't need that 100 percent guys then deny apps the access to my contacts also going to turn it on and we pretty much can enable all of these here which are green check guys like without any issues as mentioned this program is super tested so therefore you can see i like deny apps access to my picture library this may be something which i would actually keep on just go through it like one by one uh, real quick you know you can pretty much read it out for yourself what it does and if it doesn't bother you just simply make sure to check it or if it does then just simply uncheck it you know and yeah we can see here everything is selected which is green of course the yellow one i just simply wouldn't go for i'm just going to actually here enable everything which is green disable advertising id to prevent apps from evaluating id on different applications you can see this is all like for like advertisement processes running on microsoft so therefore yeah we're just going to set the changes here as well guys super super easy you can see now it's being enabled here in the background um, after confirming this message everything is going to get applied it's going to restart again the program itself so yeah, guys and now you can see everything is applied 100 percent we could also theoretically go to telemetry or search and the only section guys which i would also recommend you to maybe go through is search there's like one which i'm going to do now as well just going to set the settings here guys you can see do not let cortana use location services do not search online do not include web results disable the cloud as search for service functions and cortana i mean these are all like processes which you simply don't need guys like i barely use cortana 
Montana here on my Windows PC. So therefore, yeah, privacy, apps and search are the only free ones where I would like change something in the background, guys, because the rest is a little bit more advanced. We're just going to go here again onto change settings and you can already see the picture. Yeah, it's already here. And then, yeah, once we got it here, we're just going to click here onto OK again. It's just going to say like just another moment, please. It's going to restart and everything will be applied, guys. And afterwards, you pretty much only have to restart your PC and we're just going to hop into Fortnite in a second, guys. <laughs> and yeah guys since so many people always want me to actually hop them in game after actually applying all my settings guys like i mean literally everything i show you i actually personally apply here on my pc we're just gonna hop in game real quick to prove you guys that i have literally so less input delay you can see here no issues at all And I definitely gotta say guys, each and every single tutorial I'm showing you of course has value in it boys. Like I wouldn't show you stuff where I personally would like harm my PC, you know what I'm saying? Like everything as mentioned I utilize here on my own PC and yeah, it's all just like really good optimization steps. And yeah, therefore guys, I hope that this was actually helpful for you. If so, please let me know down in the comment section below. I can definitely feel that my game feels way smoother than on like stock Windows 11 because yeah, I actually try it out like really often guys, switching like back to stock settings and then like trying out the different tweaks and everything. And yeah, just leave me some feedback down in the comment section below. I would highly recommend it. And if you guys are wondering which keyboard I'm actually utilizing right now, make sure to check out the latest review, which I just dropped today as well, guys. I think like one or two hours ago. And yeah, therefore, yeah, just make sure to check everything out, boys. And with that said, we're pretty much done here. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. We're super close to 50,000 subscribers, guys. So therefore, please make sure to subscribe. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light.